In this video, we're gonna take a first look at Bison Relay and just have a look at some of the features. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just click on this downloadable from the last video. And let's just go full screen. Then enter our password and then unlock the wallet. So as you can see, that was really, really quick. So that took, I don't know, less than 10 seconds after entering my password. Now, on the left-hand side, we have all of the different things that are currently available. It is important to remember that this is version 0 0.1.1. So it's actually the first release. Um, it's not a fully fledged product yet. It's still a lot more work to do, but it's going in the right direction. So we're just gonna have a look at what's available now, but keep in mind, just like I said in the last video, this video will be out of date very, very quickly. When you open up Bison Relay, the first tab that you come encounter with is the news feed. This will look completely empty to start with. So what I've done ahead of time is actually created this first post. So you come in here and you can see the first post. Now, if you were subscribed to other people, you would also see their posts. At the moment, I'm not subscribed to anyone. Although I have one friend, I'm not subscribed to their post. I'll show you how to do that in a moment. So we're just gonna look at what, what the newsfeed is and how to create an, a post. So once you see this, you can just press read more and then you can see see the actual post. This There's a little button up top here that you can relay this post to other people in your subscription list if you wanted to. If you click on any of these links, it will open it up in a web browser so you can see what's going on there. There is also an image that goes with this. Unfortunately, for some reason, it doesn't show up at the moment. So hopefully that'll get fixed soon. And then there's also a comment area. So if I say, um, great piece, and then just click the add button, and then you notice it's now, it's put my comment in there as well. And you can actually comment as much as you want. The next thing is who you're subscribed to. So as you can see, I'm actually subscribed to no one at the minute and then you can create a new post. So I've just copied and pasted some text from Twitter. So here's my text I'm gonna put in here. This is a markdown editor, so you should be able to change the size of the font and do some other customizations here. Unfortunately, it doesn't quite work for me at the moment, so hopefully that'll come in a future release. You can also add images, but once again, this this isn't quite working at the minute. They don't actually show up, but I'll, I'll show you how to do it. So let's just get, go and grab an image. We've got one here. For this post and it's 58 kilobytes so really really small and then we can just create our post and there we go we've got our second post on there and if you want to see that you can just press the read more and obviously you can click on the link you can even relay it to your subscribers so those are all the bits there now let's have a look at what happens if we go into the chat and start subscribing to other people's so in this top section we can create a group so you can just press the create group and we can actually say right what what should we call our group once you've put the name in just press the create group button so now we have our, our first group all set up if you click on the actual icon you can actually manage it or you can rename the groups if you're not completely happy with the name you can come in here and then you can rename it and that's absolutely fine or you can click on the manage group and then you can either kill the group or you can invite users. In order to invite users, and once again, the, the UI does need a little bit of improvement, but it's, it's not a massive issue. You can actually click on this button here and anyone you're subscribed to, so Phoenix, um, I can invite Phoenix to the, this group and it'll go off and it'll and invite him. And once he accepts, it'll obviously come in. And there we go, we get the notification that, that Phoenix has been invited. So I've just written a message, hopefully it comes through any second now, and there it is. So now we have a message in this group and we can actually populate that with all kinds of talking and stuff like that. And you can also accept invites. So, so let's do this another way and I'll get my other computer to send me an invite to a group. Okay, so on my other computer, I'm just about to press the button to invite groups. I'm gonna press it now. And that's just being sent and it's being sent, yep. So hopefully in a couple of seconds, we should see a message from Phoenix and we've got a little red dot there. And then it says, do you want to accept the invite? And absolutely, let's accept the invite. Now, once it's accepted, um, we start to kind of, it starts to populate itself. Now, if, if there was other people 
online. Just give me, there we go. So it's kind of, if there was other people online and they were chatting inside of this group, and there's, there's kind of, um, there's no one in this group. It's just another test group, just like this one. But if there was people in, you'd, and as they start chatting, you'd actually start to see them in your friends list. And this is a feature that's um, quite interesting. Once you join a group, it actually allows you to connect to more people. Um, hopefully, a future a future release will be that there is public groups where you can just go straight into and you can join it. So as people are talking, then you start to populate. And if you want to get rid of those people, if you didn't want to see them all, you can obviously um, unfollow and all the rest of it. So the next thing to look at is the options available inside your friends list. So this top one here is our groups. This is our friends list. And if we click on their actual icon, it gives us a whole bunch of different information. If we click on the user profile, we have some options here for ignoring the user, blocking the user. Um, if we want to pay them a tip, we can. So we can just click pay tip. And if I just want to send them a hundred atoms, that's what I'd write. One of the things that I would quite like to see is an option here to actually change this into atoms. So rather than writing all those zeros, you can just write a hundred atoms here. Um, and that'd be pretty cool. But have a look at this. This bit's really cool. When I press pay, it, it goes through almost instantly. Here we go. Here we go. It's sending. And once we see this, this tick, the other person has actually received it. There it is. It's gone. It's gone through. And that took longer than it normally does. Actually, normally it takes like literally a fraction of a second. But even that was less than 10 seconds. So that was pretty cool. And Phoenix has received that tip. Um, then we can show the person's content. We can subscribe to the post. The first thing I do every time you see a new user in this list, you can come down here and you can subscribe to their posts. And then it will go and fetch all of their posts. Now, because my real account has actually created some posts, we should be able to see them in just a moment. So it's, it's fetched them. Then we can say show posts. We should start getting a bit more information here. It's important to note also, you only need to do this once for each user. If you don't do this, you won't see their their posts in the, the news feed. Um, so that's, that's the only reason we're doing what we're doing here. We can also say list posts. And if we wanted to send them, let me just let that happen. There we go. And if we wanted to send them a file, we could as well. So we can actually choose a file and we could send them, send them a file. And you can also rename the users. So if you're not happy with what they display as, you can actually rename them as well, which is quite interesting. So let's close that window and now head back to the news feed. And hopefully, yeah, there we go. Um, Phoenix did this caravan. BW Caravan. Um, once again, we, we haven't, we're not seeing the picture here yet, which is a bit of a shame. However, um, you do see on on JYP's post, he's actually managed to get a, a picture in here, which would be really cool. I haven't, I haven't worked out how to do that yet. But um, So one more thing about this patient. Down the bottom, if you want to invite other people, you've got these two buttons here. So you can say, right, generate an invite. And as you generate the invite and say, right, this is this is the bin here. And I can press the save. And then if I head on over to my desktop, you'll notice that I get this this invite bin. And you can send this, you can send this to one of your friends. And then what they would do in the chat section is they'd come to this plus icon and they'd press load and then they'd come to the invite bin and then they would choose that and that would load them up as another friend and you'd see them here and you'd be able to tip them and all the rest of it. Next thing then, the Lightning Network Management area. So it tells you what you've got available in your, your wallet and your, your channels. And then we've also got our address here. We can generate a new deposit um, address so that we can actually put more money into the, into the channel. Okay, so now we have the deposit address. We can actually put more money into this into this on-chain balance by using this address. So we should always have two channels open. So we've got two active, an inbound and an outbound channel. And if you need to open up um, or request channels, you can do that here. So the next one, we have this generate invoice area where you can generate Lightning Network invoices. I've not done this before, so I'll, I'll leave that for now. And then you have your network area, which get, just gives you some basic information about your, your connections. After that, we can go to the content area. So if you want to add some content, you can do that. So for instance, if I select file, 
and then say go and grab the decred camper van we can choose this file and then we can say right if someone downloads this how much is it going to cost them so i can say 100 atoms and then i can say right share that so that's going to be global and if anyone wants to download that they can obviously have that then if i click on here i should see the camper van so i can see that it's going to be downloaded and if you download it um, it's going to cost you 100 atoms to download that but then that's yours and then you can see all of your downloads and any of the pictures that you've actually taken or any of the, the files that you've taken, should I say. And then in the payment stats, we can actually see all of the connections that we've we've got with other people. So like I said to you before, and this is interesting because these guys have come through. And the reason Tivra and Dave have come through is because they are members of the Decredit magazine group. So that's the reason that they've come through and they're now friends of mine. And that's why I've got these two random things at the bottom here. So one of these is Dave and one of these is Tivra. Um, so they're clearly online now and that's why that, why that's come through. So that's quite interesting. So the minute you're involved in a group and people start being online, they do actually start to be populated in your area. And I'll show you that in a minute. I'll shut down and I'll show you that in a minute. And then you can also see how much communication you've had with, with people. So for instance, for me to connect to Tivra, cost me seven atoms okay so that was the initial connection there's no message has been sent there and it was the same for dave c seven atoms um for for a message like hello or something longer um you'll pay one or two atoms for that and as you can see from phoenix i sent i sent a tip for a hundred dcr so we've had a communication now and oh and i downloaded that picture as well so in, including the picture that i downloaded so if i go back to my news feed this one here because Phoenix sent this to all of his subscribers, um, I've managed to be able to get this. And because I downloaded it, that looks like it's cost me. Let me go back to it. I sent a hundred DCR. I sent about. I sent a message. It looks like it's cost me about a hundred and thirty for that image. Maybe one hundred and forty because I've only had. I've had like four messages with that account so not, not too many so the image was about 140 the one thing you should remember is a basic transaction on the decred chain is between two and four thousand atoms so that doesn't even equate to one transaction you can literally talk to somebody quite intensively for quite a long time and and not rack up too much in the price of atoms um and then finally, we have the log error, which basically shows you what's happening in the background. So hopefully that was okay. If you have any questions, um, obviously let me know and I'll see you next time.